of the people who come to Three Rivers come to Three Rivers not in the normal stream of events. They don't come after graduate. Most of them don't come after graduating high school and start going through on a, on a college education basis. Most take some time in between, some one or two years, some five or ten years. Um, what's great about Three Rivers is the teaching staff, the educators, make education easy and comfortable for those people who are coming back to education and help them get through the process. And when they are done, they're better people in our community. Um, they gain additional skills. Um, their earning power increases. Their, their production to us in general is, is improved. And the community college system in general does that, but specifically to Three Rivers. And I just absolutely love it. And so therein is all of my support. And that's why I, as a businessman, do that. I'm, I'm done with my talk about the school. I just want to tell you, thank you all for coming. Um, this is a great honor, something I never dreamed of for 11 years. I have two real good pals standing on this um, dais or podium with me. Um, the boss, Grace, who always has something new for me to do. Um, and I keep trying to figure a way to retire. And, and Janet Zito, who is my biggest cheerleader. And, and will always buoy me with her, her comments and her insights. And to you two specifically, I want to say thank you. To all of you, I want to say thank you for this evening and the honor that you've given me. Thank you. Foundation Board, we finally issued our first uh, full boat scholarship to a student, and um, Katie Lynn Brohaki is that person. She's going to come up and talk to you about her experience, uh, but she is the first recipient of the Foundation's total scholarship. And so, Katie, um, could you come up here? <laughs> She's a graduate of the work of high school. Foundation Liberal Arts and Science Merit Scholarship, my life has been a whirlwind of new, new and exciting experiences. I look back to when I was a senior at Waterford High School, faced with decisions every student is required to make, where to attend school and what field of study to focus on. There were countless options. Though I could have chosen to attend a pricey four-year school and gone contentedly away to college as so many high school graduates do, my ultimate choice consisted of many factors that led me to a more fitting option. My parents, sisters, our pets, and I are a very tight-knit family, so much of my decision was based on the fact that I wanted to live at home and continue to work. At the same time, I wanted the opportunity to attend nursing school and enjoy a college experience that wouldn't leave me with the student loans that many college students acquire. After researching schools and programs, Chatting with my parents, friends, and teachers, and doing a lot of soul searching of my own, I finally decided that Three Rivers Community College was the school for me. Three Rivers enabled me the freedom to customize my college experience to my liking, and fortunately I realized that this was the decision I, I would be most satisfied with. Two years in, I couldn't be happier with my choice. When I discovered the opportunity of the College Foundation Scholarship, which would fund my tuition for two years, I was eager to apply. I always took school seriously and worked especially hard throughout my high school years. My academics were important to me as well as my extracurricular activities, and the scholarship was a great result to the many long days and stressful late nights of studying. I began classes at the start of the fall 2006 semester 
with my sights set on the very selective Three Rivers Nursing Program. Since then, for the past two years, by means of this scholarship, I have attended Three Rivers full-time each semester, and following completion of this current term, I will have fulfilled all the pre and co-requisites for the program. The scholarship has provided a great edu educational foundation for the nursing program to me. I am currently enrolled in microbiology, intermediate Spanish, in the second semester of a two-semester anatomy and physiology class. Needless to say, I have been busy. Throughout my time at Three Rivers, I have had wonderful experiences with all the staff and the professors. Everyone I have interacted with has always been very willing and helpful. All of the professors have been great, and I have enjoyed the classes I have taken. I have benefited from the fact that classes are small in size here in comparison to large universities where you're just a number. Currently, as you know, I'm taking anatomy and physiology with Professor Kirkpatrick. And though the class is extremely demanding and difficult, he provides us with the tools to succeed. For example, Professor Kirk, as he goes by, provides us with a weekly schedule to help us manage our time, online notes, practice questions, weekly online quizzes, handouts, supplemental web links, occasional extra credit assignments, and a, definitely a lot of support. His lectures are interesting, understandable, and he always is willing to answer questions. He's humorous, considerate, and very professional. Although he has high expectations of his students, he holds himself to the same standards as a professor. This past winter break in January, after completing the TEAS test, which is an evaluation of a student's academic readiness, for entrance into the nursing program and receiving my grades for receiving my grades for the prior fall semester, I applied to the Three Rivers nursing program. The re requirements have been completed, and I did my best to keep my cumulative GPA above a 3.5. At this point, all I can do is hope for the best. Every day, I consider how extremely lucky I am to be a part of a great family that I love, blessed that I'm enjoying my life as a college student, and eager to continue my education. I am proud that I have made positive decisions throughout my life and feel that as the recipient of this scholarship I have been generously rewarded. I read a quote today which stated, I feel that the greatest reward for doing is the opportunity to do more. My family and I feel grateful that the Three Rivers College Foundation Scholarship did just that for me. So please keep your fingers and toes crossed and hope that I get into the nursing program. Thank you and have a wonderful night. Final function is to introduce Craig Horner, who was an 87 graduate of what was then Thames Valley State Technical College, not Three Rivers, but it's before we joined. Um, and he graduated from the nuclear program, and I don't know how else to describe it. He went on for a Bachelor of Arts out of UConn and a Master's uh, from the University of New Haven. Um, Trad, would you come up here? Thank you. shopping and buy a dress for tonight. So, <laughs> so, so we're both thankful to be here tonight and share, share our story. Uh, my story uh, started at Thames Valley back then. Um, like many kids uh, that end up at Thames Valley, my parents really didn't have a lot of money to send me to school. Uh, my dad, who happened to work at Millstone Power Station, uh, had heard about the nuclear engineering technology program at Thames Valley and you know, said, son, um, I've heard good things about this nuclear engineering technology program at, at Three Rivers. And you know, them nuclear technicians make lots of money. And uh, at 18, that's pretty much all the motivation you need. So uh, I entered into the program in 1985. Uh, my dad did neglect one, one minor detail, and uh, nuclear engineering is hard stuff. Uh, he, he had left that out. But, but I made it through. And uh, Professor Sherrard has assured me that uh, my transcripts will remain sealed as long as I can see discussions about the nuclear engineering program. So, right, Jim? That's our deal. See you. 
Uh, upon graduation, I went to work for Northeast Utilities uh, as a chemistry technician. I worked in the lab for several years. And then I went into the training organization and uh, trained chemistry technicians for a while. And then with some additional training, I became a, a senior reactor certified instructor. And, um, and I taught uh, folks how to, how to run reactors over at Millstone Power Station. And I eventually went into uh, the management within a training organization where I'm currently at, and, and I oversee the initial licensing process of reactor and senior reactor operator training program. Uh, as Ken alluded to, I, I did continue my education uh, up at UConn and, and, and uh, the University of New Haven where I received my MBA. And, and I've been exposed to dozens of professors now. And um, one thing I got to say, Three Rivers has, should I say, some of the most unique. And um, I've become, uh, I, I came really to appreciate their willingness to, to help you learn. Um, and it, it's something that, that stood out among the rest. So professors here tonight, um, you should really feel uh, that you stand out among your peers, uh, at least in the, some of the other academic institutions in the state. Uh, today, I'm fortunate enough I work very closely with the college still, uh, still in the nuclear engineering um, program. I'm a member of the advisory board, um, and I'm also very active in the Dominion sponsors the scholarship program. Um, and I'm very active in that scholarship program with, with Jim Sherrard. And I get the honor of being here, uh, having them nice coconut shrimp uh, about once a year. Uh, but I'm here, and we're awarding graduates of, of Three Rivers that go through the program that I oversee, and they're successful. Uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission comes here about once a year and awards those folks their senior reactor and reactor operator licenses. So I get the benefit of, of staying in contact with our, with our graduates. Um, you know, and at the moment, this is an interesting thing, at the moment, we're about ready to promote our first He's a graduate of, of Three Rivers. Uh, he's a graduate of Thames Valley. Um, and he's about to be promoted to the position of shift manager over at Millstone Power Station. It takes about 14 years of training and experience to, to qualify for that position. And uh, not everybody that qualifies gets promoted because uh, that's a pretty, Dominion's very careful at who they promote to that position. Uh, basically because they're putting them in charge for about $1 billion investment. So I think it's pretty impressive when we can take a, a kid out of a local high school, uh, put him through three rivers, and ultimately that individual is in charge of a, a $1 billion facility. That's a pretty impressive feat. I guess I want to finish with, you know, I really thought hard about what I want to communicate to you folks about what three rivers did for me. And what occurred to me is, is Three Rivers gave me the opportunity to have a great life. I have a wonderful wife, four fantastic children most of the time, <laughs> and a great career. And the reason I have a great life is because Three Rivers gave me the opportunity to make myself valuable. And that's simply what Three Rivers does allows you to make yourself valuable. And I'm forever grateful to Three Rivers for that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Katie and Fred. Uh, that's going to conclude our speaking Except for <laughs> the president of the college, very seldom says she gets to have a last word because they know we know that's not safe. To the Ahmeds, to uh, the Capanos, would all the Three Rivers faculty, staff, and students please stand? Ken, I want you to look around because um, these are people who know you and came out for you. And do the Ahmeds. 
these are the people who will soldier and uh, see the next group of students through. But to the foundation co-chairs for this event, Darlene God, thank you very much for standing. Darlene God, would you please join me here? A bet each year that if he makes a certain amount of money, I'll treat him to a martini at the end of the evening. Usually, we're so tired we don't even want a martini. <laughs> but tonight, you have done a wonderful job, and Darlene and Jerry both have said this is our last year of doing this. And I feel like if it really, really, really is, let me at least provide the flowers and hopefully the martini later in the evening. I thank you so much. but the two of them have just invested heart and soul over many, many years. Thank you. We might have dinner now. Thank you, Grace. Uh, it's been a great eight years. Um, this is the end of our speaking program, though. I'll let you get to dinner. But I have two quick announcements uh, with respect to our silent auction. We have a last minute silent auction edition. I've got four tickets to the UConn men's game against Cincinnati. It's going to be scheduled for tomorrow. So it is going into silent auction for those interested. And one of the packages, the WICH and WTC, uh, TCY uh, advertising packages that had advertised one $1,000 certificate is two $1,000. So, bid off. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.
Well, I know, it's like a tennis match. I mean, you're like, yeah. you know. Oh, absolutely. It's like sitting at the food court at Christmas. You know? Yeah, exactly. You're right. Says to me. No matter what I say, I, I, oh, I left this recording the whole time. Yes. Yes.